Hello, in this video we review daily operations with employees. We're going to be logging in with a PIN code. So we hit PIN entry and we can punch in a user's PIN code. The first person who logs in, uh, if you're logging in to a system that has a cash store, it's going to create a balance sheet and open it up so that the person can enter the money that they have in the cash store. So here Bell has opened a uh, balance sheet automatically and we can start the drawer off with $100 and press start sheet. Now they can start an order and we'll just put a few items on the order. Doesn't matter what items we're putting on. We just want to close it out. We're going to use cash to make a payment. So here we've added a, a, a transaction and that transaction should go into the balance sheet. Let's go ahead and look at the balance sheet now. Employees that are just regular staff will see POS on the left hand side here and they can go to the balance sheet. And here at this point it'll say close sheet because the sheet has already started. We're going to show a, a balance being under because we have not counted any money. And we'll have one transaction for Bell here. More than one employee can log on to the same register. The transactions will be tallied up in this one balance sheet. Here we'll go ahead and use a different code. So now we logged in with daily. We can add in a transaction. We can close it. We can go back to the balance sheet. And we'll see we have one balance sheet, same name, started with Bell. We have Bell's transaction, and now we have Daily Tr Christus. So these aren't individual transactions. These will be a summary of all the total sales for each employee that logs in and completes a transaction using this balance sheet. Other employees might log in that are not assigned to this balance sheet. If they're assigned as a server, they can go ahead and punch in their code and as a server, if this person is of a type server, not as a type cashier, only their sales will be tallied into this one sheet. We can add a few items to this order. We can check out. We can pay cash. We can pay the balance. We can exit and go back over to the balance sheet and see that this balance sheet applies just to this one person and that it's just tallying up their individual sales. If we switch back over to the other employee, we can go to their balance sheet and see that it's combined sales of two employees. Now we'll be closing out the shift. So that entails entering in the amount of money we have in the ending side of the balance sheet here, where previously we entered in the starting amount. We have a current balance of under uh, $133. So that's the starting amount and the total cash sales amount. So we started with 100, we got in $33 in cash. And so we should have $133.37 in the cash drawer. We have an adjusted balance here as well, and that is the amount before we save uh, the, the, the balance sheet here. So this current balance under remains that way until it's saved. If, for example, we hit exit and we came back in, that, that amount of $100 is still not uh, saved. So we're going to see that we're under 133 Then I can put in say six here and 337 pennies and now we are even so that adjusted balance disappears if I hit print it will save this information for us and it prints out that we have a current balance of zero so that's good and then we have the two payments that we have listed here and I can hit receipt that'll print out to the receipt printer then I can hit close sheet and it will automatically email the balance sheet and log us out. 
Now, when the next person goes to log in, a balance sheet will be initiated and they'll be asked to start that new balance sheet. That is the procedure for starting and closing shifts. Now we'll look at settings that we used in order to apply these features today. Under user types, we had cashier. And cashier under behaviors is going to be left unchanged for user defined balance sheets. The server will have them enabled. So that gives them their own unique balance sheet for each employee that logs in as a job type of server. Then you just want to make sure that employee type is set up as a cashier or server according to uh, their position. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at pointlesspos.com. Give us a call at 866-973-8099 or leave a comment below. Thank you.